Hey YouTube, uh, just giving the other video. I mean, uh, just finished this tank. Uh, again, this is the I don't remember the name. <laughs> Something Glow Three. It's a uh, three-gallon tank. I got it from Walmart. Uh, it's like a small little boat front type build, and it actually came with the huge whisper filter back there, and this LED lighting, which that trips me out that, you know, 30 bucks you got all this and the LED lighting, when the lighting like this at the fish store costs 150 bucks. Uh, there might be some little details on, on wattage and all that. I have no clue. I don't know anything about LEDs, so and this don't say anything about the wattage and stuff, but I'm just like, you know, if it if it, if I throw some coral in here and it lives and it starts doing good, then that's something maybe y'all can look into getting a cheap set of LEDs. Uh, but back to the tank. All right, this is the dwarf seahorse tank. We're not going full size yet, only because I got these in a tray for some coral um, that I had that had been grown and everything. Uh, I got seven dwarf seahorses. Um, they're actually not really moving too much right now, so I hope I didn't kill them all. But I mean, some of them are kind of moving around, but I don't know. Whatever, we'll see. Uh, as you can see, I got some big plants in the fake uh, branch coral type deal. And this is pink, as you saw in the previous video. This, these LEDs are making these go a lot brighter too. That's friggin' hot pink slash fire lava red, glow in the dark, neon lighting, whatever. Whatever helps seahorse grab on to. That's what you want when you do the seahorse tank. You want stuff that isn't uh, sharp and that's not going to tear them up that they can grab on to. And as you can see up close, you know, there's so many things, so many little pieces that these little guys down here, if you can see that guy right there, these are dwarf seahorses. Yeah, it's like an inch long. That's the one I don't think made it. There's his tail and his head's down there on the sand. I don't think he made it at all. There's a couple back here. If I only counted six, I'm missing one somewhere. Well, yeah, back up saying, you know, you want stuff they can grab onto with their tails and stuff because um, they're not big swimmers like fish. They like to just kind of hang out and hold on to stuff. Another thing with the filter, you don't want much current. Uh, I don't know if this is too much yet, but it pulls water down there and shoots it up through there do a carbon filter and then out there but I put this filter sock on it to keep seahorses from getting kind of sucked into the little slits at the bottom down there uh, so that's where I'm at with that uh, again 30 bucks man got LEDs Three gallon tank, whisper filter, out the door. Uh, but I'll let you know how it goes. I don't have a heater in there right now. Let's we'll see how it does with just house temperature. We don't let it get below 75 in here, so we'll see. If I got to buy a heater, I got to. But I mean, it's a three gallon tank. I really don't want a heater the size of a water bottle. Mm sitting in a tank the size of a wallet, you know what I mean, just be a sore thumb, but uh, I do have a temperature gauge thing right here, I can read and stuff, there's a little close up of the seahorses, This is, uh, I'm still researching, it's kind of, you know, I'm learning more stuff as I go. So if you got any questions, just uh, ask me, and if I got an answer, I'll tell you. If I don't got an answer, I'll tell you I don't have one. 
I'll tell you the sites that I look at or whatever. You know, just ask you. There's not a lot of seahorse videos on YouTube, so uh, anything I can help you with, I'll try and help. All right. Thanks for watching.